voice cloning, dubbing, text-to-speech, speech-to-speech. If you're not aware of these amazing AI capabilities, no one does it better than Eleven Labs, and you are about to learn everything that you could possibly know about the platform, both the free version and the creator version. Affiliate link in the description. Let's go. I do want to mention that I'm using the creator account. So the first month is 50% off. It's $11 a month. And the next is going to be $22 every single month. I'm just signing up so that I could show you all the various features that it offers. And if you're using it for free, you're still going to have all of these features. But the reason I signed up to creator is because I wanted to show you the additional features as well. So let's start with speech synthesis. There are two options here. We can do text to speech and speech to speech. We're going to start with text to speech. And here we're able to convert text into lifelike speech using a voice of our choice. So under settings here, we can see that we can go ahead and we can select which voice we would like to choose. And you can even play and listen to the voice prior to selecting it. Obviously would be a good idea. I want something that's going to whisper to me a little bit. We're going to get a little bit spicy with what we wanted to say. So I'm going to select Nicole. And then if you select the drop down for voice settings, there is a choice that we have for stability. Now, please remember that if you increase the stability metric here, what you're going to get is speech that's more expressive. So it's going to sound more real. However, it can also lead to instabilities. So you'll have to tweak it, but not too much. Clarity and similarity enhancement is this bar here that I've set to 84%. And you could see that low values are recommended if background noise is present in the generated speech, something to keep in mind. And the style exaggeration is if you feel that the voice you're selecting is really plain, the exaggerated setting is going to make it seem a lot more exaggerated, obviously, but higher values can lead to more instability in the generated speed. So they said that setting this to 0, 0.0 will greatly increase generation speed and is the default setting. But I definitely recommend going above 0%, but not too high when it comes to style exaggeration. And speaker boost, I typically just keep this checked on and it basically is going to boost the similarity of the synthesized speech and the voice at the cost of some generation speed, which is fine by me. This I want to point out that it's saying we recommend switching to 11 Multilingual V1 model to get the best possible quality for the voice selected. And I selected Nicole, you'll be able to hear her in a second. And what this does is right here, if you click it, you can toggle between V1 and V2 of Multilingual or just 11 English V1. So now is probably a good time to mention this. If you go ahead and you take a look at 11 Multilingual V2, you'll see that there's 29 languages versus v1 which only has what looks like eight or nine languages now the way this works is you don't even have to select the actual language when you type in the text if it's Indonesian if it's Polish if it's Swedish if it's Arabic this software is going to automatically detect the type of language that you're using and then it will create a text-to-speech version of it now another thing to keep in mind is if you are working with one of these languages that you see here in 11 multilingual v1 sometimes selecting 11 multilingual v1 will give you better results than even 11 multilingual v2 and i'll show you that in a second so let me go ahead type out some text and then we'll see how it works on 11 multilingual v1 and then 11 multilingual v2 so I really hope my girlfriend doesn't mind, but I'm going to go ahead and flirt with Nicole right now and ask her to tell me I love me some artificial intelligence nerds. Talk machine learning to me, baby. And it should create it in a voice that's whispering in a female voice. So let's see what happens. Remember, I'm using 11 multilingual V1. And then after this, we'll try it with 11 multilingual V2. And as you can see, very, very quickly, it was able to create it for me. So let's listen to it. I love me some artificial intelligence nerds. Talk machine learning to me, baby. So now let's switch it to 11 multilingual V2. I love me some artificial intelligence nerds. Talk machine learning to me, baby. So I actually did like 11 multilingual V1 for that option. Now let's go ahead and take a look at the speech to speech feature. 
In this one, we're able to create speech by combining the style and content of an audio file you upload with a voice of your choice. What does this mean? Well, over here, we select the voice of our choice, the voice settings, and the type that we're gonna roll with. And then we can either upload an audio file or we can just speak into it and record audio and then it will be generated in this voice. And by the way, right now is a great time to mention what this add voice thing is here. In order to understand it, we're gonna go over to voice library. This resource has a lot of different voices that was posted by the community. And what you could do is you can sample them and then add them to the voice lab. So for instance, if I wanna add Lizzie, a refined Victorian old British female, I can sample it and then I could add it to voice lab. So if I add it to voice lab, and now if we go back to speech synthesis and we say add voice, we can go ahead and now select Lizzie because we've added it to our voices. But what I'm gonna do in this example is I'm simply gonna use my voice. So let's go ahead and do that right now. And then I'm gonna click this microphone icon here and then I'm gonna say, you better subscribe to this channel or I will hack your computer. And then click on generate. You better subscribe to this channel or I will hack your computer. So now that we understand speech synthesis, let's take a look at this project tab right here and I'll explain to you exactly what this does. So in this section, what 11 Labs is able to do is it's able to turn into audio long form content. So anything from a book to full documents, conversations, and I'll actually show you how to embed something onto your website so that anyone that goes there can click it and it will read things off of the page for them. But first things first, let's show you exactly how to create a new project. So you create new project, then you choose the project type. So for this example, I actually wanna turn a page on my website into audio with Nicole speaking, the Whisper AI girl. So what I'm gonna select is initialize a project from a URL. Then I'm gonna click next. I'm gonna title the project name Web AI. And for the URL to create the chapter from, let me do a shameless plug. I'm gonna do it from my own website. If you don't already know, I'm a web developer, more of a web designer these days. I should stop calling myself a web developer. And if you go to the drop down, we'll go to artificial intelligence. And this is the page that I want Nicole to whisper to you in a very seductive way so that you take me on as a client. So if you guys don't know, I consult a lot in AI to a lot of the corporations around. I'm located in North Jersey in New York City. Over here, you could see I present a lot. So that's me right there. If you pay me enough, I actually take off my hat. That's what I look like. For those of you that have been following this channel for a long time, that might surprise you. And I also do a lot of presentations in AI, and obviously I incorporate a lot of AI tutorials into my YouTube content. So let's go ahead and simply copy this URL, and then we're gonna paste the URL here. And for the default voice, we're gonna choose Nicole. For this example, I'm actually gonna keep this multilingual V2. So this is a really cool feature. If you do the drop down under download settings, you can see that you could normalize the volume to meet audiobook standards. And this basically means that this program is gonna adjust the volume and also dynamic compression will be applied so that the volume will meet your standard audiobook style guidelines. And then here it actually lets me visualize all of the text that it's gonna go ahead and turn into speech by Nicole. So I'm going to look this over. I'm going to say, okay, looks good. So we're going to click on convert, click on convert again. I'm going to select the convert once more. With rapid advancements in AI technology, embracing its potential has become essential for staying competitive in today's fast paced world. At Promo Ambitions, we understand the unique challenges faced by businesses in the healthcare so I think you get the gist of it, it's pretty awesome. So moving right along. So what Audio Native over here allows you to do is you can actually turn any website text content into audio with a simple snippet. What do I mean by that? Well, all we have to do is we have to select this right here. This is gonna be the snippet. And we do have to put in the allowed URL. So you are gonna have to put promoambitions.com forward slash, and then it's gonna allow audio native to operate when the URL starts with promoambitions.com forward slash. 
Okay, so now let's talk about dubbing. The cool thing about dubbing a project is that you can take any video that you either upload or it's from YouTube, TikTok, X, Vimeo, or another URL. And what it's going to do is it's going to take the source language that you are going to dictate what language it was in here. And it's going to dub it in a different language. So I'm going to take a source language of English and I want it to translate it into Spanish and I'm going to use one of my YouTube videos and if I scroll down on the artificial intelligence section of my website you'll see that I populated it with a lot of the videos that I have taken in the past couple of months to years in AI so what I'm going to do is I'm going to choose this video here and then all I'm going to do is I'm going to click on share and then I'm going to copy this URL and then we come back here, we make sure that YouTube is selected and we're going to paste our URL in. The watermark here just means that there's going to be an 11 labs watermark and they're going to reduce the character usage. So remember, you only get a certain amount of characters on certain amount of plans. So if you want to reduce it by 33%, you can simply check that here. And then there's even advanced settings, which is the number of speakers, the video resolution. I always recommend that you use highest and the exact time range for dubbing. I actually like this part because maybe I don't want to dub the entire video. So I could do it in the format of the hours, minutes and seconds. So let's say I just want to use the second to third minute. And that's all that I want to dub in this video. Then what I could do is I could come over here and I could type in zero, zero colon. 01 colon 00 and then 200 zero, zero, colon 02 colon 00 zero. and that should just give me a minute of dubbing and then we're going to go ahead and create this and you can see here that it's doing it really quickly so it's saying it's only going to take like two minutes to go ahead and dub the entire thing so i'll wait for it to fully complete la inteligencia no te va a reemplazar. Lo que va a reemplazarte a ti o a tu trabajo es una persona como yo que utiliza la inteligencia artificial para trabajar de manera más eficiente. Pretty gnarly, eh? If I was smart, I would go ahead and I would recreate my channel for a Spanish audience and then recreate it for a German audience and go ahead and post the different versions. I believe that is what some of the most popular YouTubers do and they do quite well with that. So if you run a YouTube channel, I definitely recommend trying something like that. And if you're curious what I meant by watermark, you could see this in the bottom right corner where it says 11 labs. So if I didn't select that, it would have taken more characters but it wouldn't have that. So if you don't wish to have the 11 Labs logo, you can leave that check mark off. So now let's talk about voice cloning. You can access that in Voice Lab. And over here, what you're going to do is you're going to add generative or cloned voices. You'll also see all of the voices that you saved from the voice library in the Voice Lab section as well. So how do we go about creating a new voice? Well, you can go and design the voice by clicking this first option here, and that's actually going to let you dictate what gender it is, the age that you wish for it to be, even the accent. If you want someone female that's young with a British accent, you simply specify that. You can even dictate how high or low the actual accent is going to be. And if you want to see exactly how it's going to sound, you can just type something in, generate and use that voice. And that voice will be saved in that section as well. But the really interesting one that I want to show you guys is instant voice cloning. This is unfortunately used for a lot of deep fakes, but to use it for good, I'll show you exactly how to clone your voice. So for instance, I want to clone my dad's voice. He was born in Moscow, so he's a thick Russian accent. And I'm going to go and name this dad's voice. And then what we're going to do here is we're going to upload a file. So this can be an audio or a video file, but you want this to be nice and clear in speech. The whole point of this, even though if it's a video file, is to have clear speech of the person that you are trying to clone. So make sure there's not a lot of background noise, that they're speaking steady, and that the clarity is good enough to upload. And please bear in mind that if you have a video file but it's too large, keep in mind that it has to be up to 10 megabytes and not larger. If it is larger though, don't worry. There's a great tool here called Free Convert. 
And if you go to this tool, you can simply upload any video and it will turn it into an MP3 file for you. And then you can go back in here and upload that MP3 file, which is exactly what I did here. So as you can see, this is an MP3 file that is only a minute and a half long and the size is 1.3 megabytes, whereas the video I took with my dad speaking, it's 419 megabytes, so it's way too long. So we're going to go and select this one. We're going to write a description for the voice. So we're going to say male voice with a thick Russian accent. I'm gonna confirm that my dad actually did allow me to upload and clone his voice, and I'm gonna add his voice. And now once that's done, I'm gonna go over here and I'm gonna click use, and then let's type whatever we want for this. So here I'm gonna write, I wanna tell you a story about my childhood and the history of our family. Let me start with your great grandparents. And now I'm going to generate, and I'm gonna tell you if it actually sounds like my dad. So if you go to your history tab, you'll be able to see all of the generated playlist of everything that you've created using 11 labs. So here you can see there's about five or six different versions and I toggled some of the voice settings which actually helped it sound more like him. What helped me is raising the exaggerated even though it is now in the unstable area or range of the style exaggeration, but it actually helped a lot. So take a listen. Uh, I want to tell you a story about uh, my childhood and the history of our family. Uh, let me start with your great grandparents. That is near perfect. That sounds phenomenally close to my dad. I actually had him listen to it and he was really impressed and kind of weirded out. So that just shows the power of 11 labs and their AI capabilities when it comes to text to speech and voice cloning. So the next thing I wanna show you is voice library. And this is just a repository of different types of voices that people in the community made and offered them up for the community for other people to use. And the final thing here, which is creating a professional voice cloning where you can create perfect digital replicas of your voice. I'm gonna probably do this in a separate video. I wanna follow this step by step, but I don't wanna make this video too long. It's basically for creators that are trying to create a hyper-realistic model of their voice and use it for various reasons. And again, I'll probably make a tutorial separately. It is literally three in the morning right now. That's how hard I work on these videos. If you guys appreciate this content, please keep me motivated to keep putting out this type of content by liking, by commenting, by subscribing. Let me know which platform or which topic in AI you wish for me to cover next, and I will see all of you in the next video.